Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Park, brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. It is December 30th. Uh, we got another week, a uh, short week this week in terms of uh, the market. And the market will be closing early tomorrow, uh, being on New Year's Eve. And then, of course, New Year's uh, being the first on Wednesday. So the markets will be closed then. So we'll return back here on Thursday. Uh, today we do got a few items here, so we'll just jump right into it. We got the Chicago PMI for the month of December. So this is the manufacturing in the region of Chicago. Anything about below uh, 50 is considered uh, contraction. So as you can see, we were pretty deep in contraction in um, November here at 46.3. However, it did slightly improve to 48.9 in December. And then we got pending home sales for the month of November. So this is basically when uh, people sign a contract, not a closed sale, but a signed contract. And... In October, we saw that dip by 1.3%. However, in November, it went up by 1.2%, So, which is pretty good. When, uh, when you look at year over year, it's up quite a bit over 7% year over year. And uh, this is basically a, uh, a pretty good sign here where the economy is. Housing is still doing well, uh, especially considering that we have low inventory levels. Uh, so we'll just jump right ahead here to the uh, headline news. Stocks are, are down right now. Uh, we're seeing uh, basically the investors pulling money out of the markets, uh, which you'll see including the mortgage-backed securities, uh, out of stocks and mortgage-backed securities. Why? Primarily because there's no really cataclysm behind it. It's just that they're reassessing with all these uh, new highs in the stock market. They're reassessing their positions and uh, taking a look at where things are at and pulling money out of both markets before they decide where they're going to move towards. So again, there's really no specific. It's just that they're in the process of reassessing uh, their positions in the markets, especially at, after the, the stock market L3 index has been in market highs day after day. So as you can see here, uh, bond market is down. We're currently down about 16 basis points. We had a nice little day on uh, Friday, which we broke above and stayed above it. But today, unfortunately, we started off and started dipping further. So we broke below uh, the two, or not 200, uh, the 100 day moving average. And the 25-day, right now we're up against the 50-day, so we'll see if the 50-day can hold for us. Uh, but pricing should be what we saw basically on Friday, so there should be no difference on pricing on, on Friday's data here. Uh, treasuries are up. We're up about 1.93 currently right now. So as you can see here, it's a pretty big jump, and we're about 1.93 right now. So pretty much that what we lost during last week got replaced uh, in one day here so far. So far, you know, get, of course, the day is young here, but anyways, uh, mortgage-backed securities are about the pri about the same pricing as we saw yesterday, uh, as most people lenders may not have given that pricing improvement, they may put that in today. So pricing should be what we saw uh, basically on uh, Friday morning. All right, so that's pretty much a wrap for the day. Uh, we do got... Uh, uh, if you guys are looking to buy or refinance and locate California, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, please direct message me, DM me, or uh, e email me. Email will probably be the quickest turnaround time. But uh, I do work as a uh, mortgage planner with Pinnacle Home Loans. And again, love to be able to talk with you guys about your uh, mortgage needs. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye.